What's up everyone, Takedown here. Happy New Year, so I'm super excited because this is the first video I'm uploading for 2019. Today I decided I'm basically just gonna recap my 2019, everything from my personal life and my channel, and I'm also gonna give you guys an update of what to expect to see moving forward in 2019, new videos and stuff like that coming soon. So let's get right into it. Okay, so I'm actually gonna start off with my personal life, which for 2018, for me at least, it was a really roller coaster year. So to start off, I've already made videos on this before, but it actually started nearing the end of 2017, and that was where I worked, which I worked there for five years, and it was my first job. They started cutting my hours and mistreating me. This went on for about six months, up until my 22nd birthday, which is in May. And then just two days after my birthday, I became physically sick. My doctor didn't know what I had, they still don't know what I had. And I was basically out for two weeks and I was unable to work. I couldn't make videos at this time either. I kept going to the doctors and basically all my tests came back normal. They didn't know what was wrong. Everything according to the tests seemed to be okay. So he just basically kept writing me doctor's notes to get rest, so that's why I was off for two weeks. The whole time I was off for that two weeks, my work was basically harassing me, wondering when I'm gonna come back, and I just didn't know. I was physically ill, and I couldn't work, and they basically didn't understand that. So finally, I was back pretty much 100%, and I was able to go back to work. Now this was on a Monday, and I did tell them ahead of time that I was going to be able to start working once again on the Monday. But whenever I went in for my shift, my manager came up to me and told me my shift was canceled, they got coverage, and my next shift is going to be on the Friday. So I had already been out of work for two weeks because I was sick, and the week I was coming back to return, they didn't just cancel that day's shift, they canceled basically my whole week worth of shifts. The next day, the boss called me in and basically called me up to the office and was yelling and screaming at me, claiming that I told him I was not going to be back this week, which was a complete lie because I already missed two weeks of work, why would I want to miss another week of work whenever I'm 100%? So I know he was lying right off the bat, but he was basically just yelling and screaming at me in his office. So after I left that day, I made the decision that my next shift, which was supposed to be the following Friday, I was actually going in to quit. And I actually went in and basically quit. They were pissed, but I just didn't care anymore. I had enough with everything that they were doing with me. And this is when my 2018 actually started to get a lot better for me. The day that I quit, I actually, as soon as I got home, I checked my email and I got an email from Canada's commissioner saying that I can start my security guard course right away. Other people that I talked to that took this course said that they finished it within a month. The reason that it took me longer than most people taking this course is because I finished the online portion for the course, but I needed to get my first aid certificate before I could go and write the final for this course. So it took me a while to get my first aid because every time I would schedule it, the day before I had to go and do it, it would cancel and automatically refund me my money. So I'd schedule it again for the next time available and it kept happening over and over again. It happened at least three, maybe four times. And by the time I actually got it done, it was two months since I started the course. The only thing left I had to do for my course was to write a practice exam, which he actually used as my final exam. And then I had to go and write a provincial test, which is an hour away. And once I had that all done, I found out that I passed the course. I had to wait for my security guard license, which I later got. I got my certificate, I got my first aid certificate, and I have everything right now. The only thing that stopped me from working is getting a vehicle, which I'm really hoping to get one really soon. So that was basically a recap of my personal life for 2018. I know, like I said, it was basically a roller coaster, but that's how my year went. Now for my channel for 2018. So right off the bat in 2018 and early 2018, I said I wanted to start doing new kinds of videos for you guys. One thing I started to do more of is taste test videos with my jerky tests, my munch pack, and different ones like that. I started doing unboxing videos, which I still continue to do throughout the year. Another thing I started doing in 2018 was my vlogs. I started doing them weekly, then I extended that to one vlog every two weeks, and then I extended that to one vlog every three weeks. And for me, they just became harder and harder to film just because every three weeks, for example, Canada Day is July 1st. My Canada Day vlog never came out until, I wanna say it was around September. So I was two months behind. So my vlogs really didn't make any sense. So I do have two vlogs left that I did not upload yet. After I upload them, I'm not gonna be doing vlogs anymore. It's just, for me, it's not worth it. I did enjoy making them, 
but it took a long time to do and I'd rather focus my attention on other videos for my channel. Nearing the end of 2018, I started doing more react videos. So I started reacting to my own videos, music videos, movie trailers, different things like that. I started doing Try Not To Laughs, which are one of my favorite things to do. And for my React videos, my Try Not To Laughs, I'm going to be continuing to do them in 2019 because for me, they are so much fun. Another thing I'm gonna be doing in 2019 is going to be doing Would You Rather and Higher or Lower. I know there's a website, and that's what I've been basically using and recording off of that. So that is a lot of fun. I already have three episodes of each done. And it's so much fun. I can't wait to start sharing that with you guys. I'm going to be making more videos where I'm talking more in depth on different topics. And I think I'm going to continue doing conspiracies, but I'm also going to be adding, I'm, I'm as of right now, I think myths and different things like that. For example, Bigfoot and UFOs. I might make videos talking about them because it is something that's very interesting. I know there is kind of a niche for it. People are interested and in always looking up that stuff. And it kind of interests me as well. So I think I might move into that direction as well. For me in 2019, I don't think I'm going to continue taste tests as much. I think I already have five taste tests that I recorded in 2018, but I'm not gonna be uploading them until 2019. Those are basically, as of right now, I think that's gonna be all the taste tests I do for 2019. It's just not something I want to continue to do. I'm evolving my channel and there's other videos that are gonna be taking those places. Now, if I do come across something in the grocery store or something online that I want to try and do a taste test video for, I will order it and I might do a video like that. It'd be interesting to do, but I'm not gonna be focusing on taste tests anymore. And for unboxing videos, Wish for me is completely out of it because it was not worth it. I tried it twice and didn't work out. And Loot Crate and Geek Fuel, I've done those before and I don't want to do them monthly basically because I can't afford it. But if I come across one month where it everything in the box is supposed to be of topics or themes that I'm interested in, or every couple of months, uh, Loot Crate and Geek Fuel will do it where it's massive savings. I think Loot Crate does 50 and 60% off every couple months. And Geek Fuel sometimes will do it where you get the box for free, you just pay shipping, which is 11 to $15. So whenever they have those events, I might do them, but I'm not gonna be doing them often. I'm not gonna be doing a lot of unboxing videos unless I have a product or purchase a product that I'm super excited for and I really wanna share with you guys, then I might do an unboxing video. One thing I said nearing the end of 2018 was I'm gonna be giving you guys some more new beats, but honestly, I don't wanna get your hopes up for that because I haven't started making new beats yet. If I do get back into that mindset of making new beats, then I'll start uploading them, but I haven't even started yet just because I'm focusing so much on my channel and everything else that's going on in my life, I haven't sat down to make any new beats yet. I also would like to do a little bit more gaming for 2019. I know I now have Battlefield 5, Fortnite, PUBG all on the PS4. So expect to see some more montage videos, which is stuff I used to do before. I'm gonna be bringing them back because that's something that on my channel people like to see. I have also brought back my retro gaming series, which for me is a lot of fun and I got everything on my PS4 for all my retro games. It's a lot of fun for me to play the old games that I used to play all the time as a kid growing up. So far I have the first five episodes recorded. I'm gonna, I think as I've already uploaded this video, I've already started uploading those ones, but for me, I think I'm gonna continue it if the views are there. If the views aren't there, I'm gonna replace them with other videos and start doing other kind of videos. Hopefully some more gaming videos. So if something funny or something interesting happens in a video game, I might put them together for video game funny moments, different stuff like that. But for me, that's stuff I really enjoy doing. Also, any games, I might start making, once again, trophy tutorials because that's something I used to do whenever I started my channel and I haven't done it in a long time. But I noticed for my channel right now, Games that were about two years ago that I made trophy videos for, people are looking up those videos now trying to get those trophies. So I might start making more trophy videos for newer games and start doing that. I think people would be interested in that. But my main focus for 2019 is to only make content that I want to make and content that I think is fun to make and stuff that interests me. So even if it's a video that potentially will only get five views or no views, if I enjoyed creating the video, that for me is what matters the most. I do have high hopes for 2019. I'm super excited to share a lot of new stuff with you guys, new videos. I might start doing monthly update videos where I'm sharing new videos of what's to come for the next month on my channel. I might start doing that. Comment down below if you'd like to see that. And also comment down below 
anything else that you guys would like to see me do or attempt on my channel. If it's something that interests me, I will do it. But if you guys have any ideas, let me know down below. My 2018 was so much fun. I can honestly see the evolution that I did for 2018 because I went back and I did a channel review slash memory lane style video where I look back at all the videos I did and I basically talk about them. They're going to be up very soon. But from doing those videos, just seeing how when I started my channel to how I am now with my videos and making all the content that I do, I've come a long way and I'm super excited. 2018 for me was a lot of fun. I did enjoy everything that I did for 2018. So 2019, expect pretty much the same thing. Just videos that I really want to do, videos that I'm enjoying doing. And that's basically what you're going to see. But I am going to leave this video here. I hope you all did enjoy. I'll see you guys very soon. Hope you guys had an amazing 2018. And I hope you all have a blast for 2019. I will see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.